we're really into the prequels right now. You know, for us, that seems to be something that has us pretty fired up, the idea of prequel sports movies. You've seen that HBO series going to be with Tony Soprano, the early days of him coming up in That's a movie. Del Tufo's New Jersey. You <laughs> think Del Tufo gets a cameo as a prequel? The young Del Tufo, you know, pop up in the Soprano show? I wish. Can see a character that was right near me. You. They were Caldwell. Right West they were right there. I could see you, Mike. It's like, look, they they threw uh, Eric Mangini in an episode of Sopranos once. I could see you like at the ball at the you know at Vesuvio or a new Vesuvio, like in the corner, just eating some bolognese. Like, oh yeah. Okay. You need to be like a background guy. You're just there. I, I could. I would have. I would have. You would have totally. I would have liked right to have done that. I'd like to see a, a sports prequel of Billy Hoyle, like in ninth grade, trying to make the varsity. Getting into it with his coach, <laughs> the early years. It'd probably be, what, early 80s in Los Angeles? Or was he a transplant? Uh, Billy was a transplant. Billy was, was a transplant. transplant. I, think, I think he played, what, from some, Iowa, semi-pro come, yeah. across the country. And I want to see him, like, fixing games or something. Or we talked about, like, a Blue Chips prequel. I what? think the best one we had in the, my time here on the Eisen Show was the John Malkovich prequel in Rounders. Yes, yes, that's the Get move. Teddy KGB in in early 20s trying to figure it out in moscow the underground poker games yeah does he get like all the soviet union does he get excommunicated from moscow like thrown out of the kgb kind of and then he's forced to come to new york and <laughs> maybe he run his thing and then get into poker like maybe how he leaves work? you know as the soviet union's changing and russia you know is becoming a, a superpower maybe he goes to lithuania and befriends a young sharunas marcelonis and supports a young <laughs> hooper's dream <laughs> really of Making it in the NBA, I mean, or, he beca- or he befriends Arvidas, and they, that's like that's the crossover. That he's be- getting if he's getting funded by Arvidas Sabonis that to win underground be- poker games. That I'm going awesome. deep. I want a prequel to Jaws. That would be tremendous. A prequel to so Jaws. So what's the, what is it like? You're, you're you, falling around. Brody is a cop in New York because okay. he's a cop in New York, and then Quint yeah, early you're days. You're falling Quint early days. Early right? days Quint, and then Hooper. You know, be getting like. I you thought know, you wanted to see the Great White as a baby. No. <laughs> I've seen that. Out like in the a water. Jaws prequel. I don't need to see that. I've gotten close enough baby to those sharks, babies. and this nah. one shark realizes nah. it's ferocious and, and says, I'm turns like... left instead of heading to the Bahamas and <laughs> Fantastic. ends up in New England. <laughs> up in New England. One fateful July 4th weekend. <laughs> well, if that's yeah. the case, then I, I want a prequel to Friday. I want to call it Wednesday. I want to see what happens. Right? I want to see oh, what happens Wednesday. before Craig got fired for supposedly stealing boxes. He ain't still no boxes because it was his day off. But I want to see what Craig. I don't know what Craig Wednesday. was. I don't know what his job was. It just now hit me. I didn't make. I didn't think about this beforehand. What was Craig's job? We don't know. We just know he got fired for stealing boxes on his day off. So I want to know, like, before in a happier time, you know. I want to see the. Day. I want to know what Debo was doing before he, like, you know, got came in and broke into Red's crib. You know, got like, all angry. I want to see the day before Ferris Bueller's day off. <laughs> the regular day at school. The friendlies. Ferris. I want to see so the whole friendly story. We That's heard about it. No. So <laughs> prequels. Everybody's prequels. in Hollywood with sequels, but prequels. I want to know, that's I where know how at. Billy Ray Valentine fell on hard times yes. in trading places. Like, I, would, got the you know, I want to see what made him yes. live on the streets of Philadelphia and roll himself around in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, I, that's what I want to know. I really want to dive into Wimthorpe and Penelope, do you realize where I've been's relationship <laughs> a little bit more? Maybe a trading places. How'd they make all their money? How'd yeah. those guys make all their money? Like, what were the Dukes doing? Were they ever cool? Yeah. You're like, I mean, Randolph and Mortimer were they ever cool guys? You know, were they always per- you young know, Randolph oh, and Mortimer? Like young Randolph young and Mor- Mortimer. I think they made that movie. It's called School Ties. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a back to school prequel. We talked about Ronnie Danger. Oh, oh, yeah. I, mean, I think we have one. It's called J.R. Smith going to college. <laughs> back to school with J.R. Smith. But instead of diving oh. boards, instead of driving, now you're, you're a diving room, team, he's golfing. Your, your freshman year, your your dorm room roommate is totally random. Totally, random. totally different from you too. By if the you're way, you're North you Carolina auntie, you get Jr. Smith. Like oh introduce him to your parents when you're moving in your boxes from Target and IKEA. He's not living in the dorms. He might want that full What's experience, the full Chris. College experience. He's never been to college. If Jr. Smith. Is living in the dorms. It looks like the back to school dorm. Like I said earlier. If, if J.R. Smith is living in the dorms, invest all your money in Febreze. In the stock market. <laughs> like I said Why earlier. Why wouldn't J.R. Smith live in the dorms? If he's living in the dorms, HBO, somebody, the Players Tribune, I want 24-7 cameras 
on J.R. Smith. This needs to be the documentary of the fall. Could you imagine what the DM situation is going to look like if J.R. Smith Stop. was living on campus? Stop. We saw the DMs when he wasn't on campus. Stop. Who's the so- RA of that dorm? It's always <laughs> some grad school student. Who's uh, trying to get like some, excuse me, some uh, money and get JR, some credits could you mind something? turning the music down yeah, a little me, bit? JR, there's it's a 11. pungent odor coming from your... The hallway is just a puff of yeah. smoke. Like, what's happening? You know they drug the test. Ta- the towel by the, the door one. is not going to work, dude. <laughs> no, the I towel can, by the door is not fooling me. I can RA. tell you that from... Well, never mind. J.R. Smith back in college. So great. <laughs> what is happening? Does he have to like rush a fraternity? Does he have to pledge... <laughs> Gonna haze J.R. Smith. He should just join every fraternity. He should be an honorary member of every house. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.